Hello everyone, welcome to the end of the year video of me walking you through on an update on my New Year's resolution to end the year with no unpainted miniatures. So, spoiler alert, I, um, I didn't exactly succeed, but I still got a lot accomplished. So, let's uh, walk you through what I've managed for this year. So, I still got a lot accomplished. It mostly was historics. I didn't get as much Warhammer 40,000 finished as I wanted, but my Russian hordes have been vastly expanded and mostly completed. All my Team Yankee stuff, very minor things are still needing to be completed. Stuff that I've printed in the time that it's taken me to finish painting it. My Space Wolves, not that much, but still a pretty decent little chunk finished over the course of the year. Then my World War II Soviets, just a massive collection that I got this year that I managed to paint the entire thing. Then my Americans for Team Yankee. That was an additional collection that I started this year and uh, finished, with the exception of a few individual pieces. Updates and painting to my World War II Americans and some crowning finishing items for my World War II Germans. You know, so all in all, it's it's been a massive year. So for those wondering how I managed to do this, this seems like a lot of miniatures when they're all laid out. But this is one year of painting one day at a time. That's the entire reason why I started the hobby streak a couple months in. It was helping me stay on task with painting a little bit every single day. So granted, some days I painted more, other days I painted less. But no matter what, I made sure that at least one part of the mini was painted. I mean, hell, I think one of the days I literally painted a yellow shoulder pad on one Space Marine Reaver. But that was still enough. That was still an accomplishment. That's one of the biggest roadblocks I see people run into with miniature painting and assembly and this hobby of, of tabletop minis. They have difficulty getting started. They have difficulty keeping themselves to doing something every single day no matter how small i tried to say it on every single one of my live streams this year that if you paint 10 minutes a day for six days a week at the end of the week you have you'll have painted for an hour which is more than enough to get a decent hit on whatever it is you're trying to paint and i also continually stressed that everyone starts somewhere I've been doing this for 15 years. When you see any of my miniatures, you have to remember how much trial and error went into it a decade ago to be able to get me to where I am today. Heck, my airbrush is a recent pandemic addition to my painting arsenal. And I've still learned new things even last night when doing gradients and layering on some models. It's a continual learning process, and the only way it doesn't work is if you give up and don't try again. So when I was looking at the New Year's resolution of no unpainted minis, I couldn't look at the total. I couldn't look at all of my unpainted minis. I had to look at it one chunk, one day at a time. This is the project that I'm going to try and complete today to make it so that this project is what I complete this week, to make it so that this project is what I complete this month. Now granted, one of the biggest things I shot myself in the foot with was the 3D printer. At least a third of the miniatures on this table are 3D printed. I'm massively added to my backlog this year, even though I said I wasn't going to, but I guess that's the curse of mini painters. You know, we're always going to be continuing to add to the collection. But what I'm needing to stress to myself is this is still an accomplishment. The amount of minis that I painted this year is a record for me. And I'm still painting every single day. It's absolutely incredible what I've been able to do this year sharing this with you guys. My TikTok account has it has hit 8,000 followers. I was floored when 100 people followed me. My Instagram has broken 500 followers. My YouTube is 
broken 200 subscribers. I just, I can't believe what this little New Year's resolution I thought to myself sitting in my room. What am I going to do this year? I can't believe it's blossomed into this. So while unfortunately I forgot to take a time lapse of me setting all this up, I managed to set up a time lapse of me doing a swap here of everything that I successfully painted this year and everything that is still unpainted, either from leftover from last year or new additions that I've 3D printed or picked up over the year. And again, I'm just looking at this absolutely floored by how much I painted this year. Even though I am disappointed that I didn't complete my New Year's resolution, that it's effectively being continued into next year. I still painted, as you'll see here, over half of what I set out to paint, which is still a massive amount of miniatures. I was kind of worried, putting all this away, wondering, you know, okay, how much do I actually legitimately have unpainted? But my heart began warming when I started laying out what it was that I had left. At least on me. I have a whole Age of Sigmar orc collection that I need to uh, get painted. But I completed the majority, over half, of what I need to paint. So while the majority of this is Warhammer 40,000, which will take longer to paint than my historicals, it's still not as much as I thought. All of my Death Guard here, I'm actually trying to sell. I have really no interest in playing them. If I'm playing a Chaos Army, I want to eventually get Thousand Suns. My Space Wolves, they got a pretty good amount left to paint, but I've narrowed, I've, um, I've gotten down a way to paint them, which will be, it will look good, but it will also be uh, time friendly. Got a bunch of vehicles, which aren't necessarily that hard to paint. This is the portion of my Age of Sigmar orc collection. I got the Dominion box this past year. A friend and I split it, so I took all the orc bits for the new uh, Cruel Boys. Really neat, beautiful models. Then this is all that's left of my historical collection. Some Shilkas, some leftover BMPs, some leftover American stuff, some leftover Russian bits here and there, and then my Spearhead Force and my Bulge American editions. not that bad for a year of painting. So, without further ado, here's the completed list of my 2021 year in painting. <laughs> Most importantly, I want to thank all of you who've come with me on this journey. I can't wait to see what next year brings. It's been truly incredible and such a blessing. I want to give a huge shout out here to all of my patrons that have joined me over this year. I Like Tanks 24, Polly One Walnuts, Carter Was Here, Tall Step YT. 
Mr. Envious, and the Soviet commander. Thank you all so much. You're absolutely amazing. <laughs>